Today I just kind of wanted to make a video that was a little more real and a little more honest about where I feel like I've been the last few days and the last week. Obviously moving to a new city is not the easiest thing and I think that I am a go-getter. I would normally say I'm a really positive person and the truth is is that the last it wouldn't even be six months anymore. It'd be way more than six months. I still think it's March. Have really taken a toll on me. I feel like I am not really myself. The last year, really, since I graduated, has been a really tough time. I think it's been a tough time for not only everyone, but especially people who graduated and are supposed to like go out into the world and figure this shit out right now. I think that. I try to push through and be positive and happy all the time, even when I necessarily don't really feel like I am. And I think that that should be talked about more. Um, so I'm trying to like come from a place of honesty with that on here today. I don't have, you know, I'm just kind of talking. I had just had like a really rough past week. 10 days. I started the job search like right when we got to Philly and I got hired right away at one of the top restaurants. I was super excited and it's just not really what I expected or wanted and I've been spending way more time there than I thought I would be. Pay is so little compared to the um, time I'm putting it in and this last week I just struggled so much because I felt like I didn't have any time to really spend at home or do the little things that make me happy or to even make like this YouTube content. The thing is, is like I went to school for something that is not a guaranteed job. And I think I never realized that more until now. Like I always knew it, but I think it's become more real for me in the last week than it ever has. It's difficult because you still have to make money while you're trying to work on your career. That's a really hard balance, like for actors and performers and then people trying to make it in the entertainment industry. It's like, like so tough. I'm not even realizing like, wow, there's a reason not everyone does it. It's really, really hard and really, really a challenge. I see all my media as a part of my job to advertise myself, which is the job of somebody who's trying to make it, I think, in the entertainment industry. Obviously that's not all of it only a really small part but when I'm putting out content of myself on my Instagram or on Facebook or with this YouTube channel it's working towards my actual career it's not just something I do for fun like I take it really seriously and so the fact that I don't even have time to do that right now in this new job is really difficult and I've really gotten down on myself this last week about who am I? What am I doing? I'm not being creative. I feel really negative. I think I've always struggled with depression and anxiety since I was little and really through college I really struggled with it. I feel like I've always done the right things to try and fix those on my own. I've always seen a therapist. I work out, you know, four to five times a week. I eat pretty healthy. I, there's just things that I do that have always been kind of what I think like, oh, this self-medicates that. And this week was a really low point for me. I'm seeking extra help. When I made that decision in the moment, I felt like this relief of like, oh my gosh, like I don't have to just like do this on my own anymore. There's other options. And I think that was something I never let myself mentally go there but it feels like such a breath of fresh air, but it's also kind of scary. So I'm kind of putting out feelers out there if anyone else is going through the same thing or has seeked medical help for depression or anxiety, I would really love to hear from you and to hear your experience and what you recommend, what you think I should stay away from. It's all new to me and it's kind of scary. I wasn't thinking I would bring that up in this YouTube video, but 
I think it's just kind of all playing into how I've been feeling. And I think another great point to like bring up with this is social media can be so deceiving. Like if you went to my Instagram, you would think I probably had like a great week and did all this amazing stuff. And you know, that's only seeing a very small part of the picture. And I think that I try to remind myself like, okay, your life is not what your Instagram says it is all the time. And that's okay, you know, but be honest about that. And I, I try to be like a few months ago, I went through and I unfollowed probably thousands of people on Instagram because I no longer could see just the constant output of all these like unauthentic pictures that made me feel like I wasn't doing enough or I wasn't putting out enough or I wasn't getting ready every day and I wasn't putting on makeup or I wasn't doing my hair and unfollowing those has really really helped me but I think sometimes I forget that I still put like the pressure on myself to be perfect and be good and I don't think we realize how exhausting that is. I'm just kind of like blurbing. I think that the weather doesn't help. It's been snowy and gray and being in a new place, a new city, in a new apartment, a new routine, a new job, that weighs on you so much. And not only that, COVID and ugh, I just feel exhausted this week. I want to share that with you because maybe you feel the same way. Knowing that someone else does too will be of comfort to you. Or I'll start to sleep. Look at her little legs. <laughs> you horsey. This video is just a reminder to be gentle with yourself and to hold close and dear the people who recognize that you are not always going to be perfect. You're not always going to be happy and you might not always be yourself, but we'll hold space for you when you're in those rough patches. I think that's really important and something I've also really recognized in the last month. Like it really makes a difference to be have a community around you who see that you are good and that you can make mistakes and that you're not always gonna be happy or positive and that they love you even through that. And yeah, that means they might be honest with you, but they see your good heart and because they love you, they just want you to feel better, but also hold space for you when you're not feeling your best. I feel really, really lucky to have people in my life who are holding space for me and love me through my rough patches, like Ralph. <laughs> Made myself a nice little chai tea latte. It's so good. It's snowing outside. I woke up, went for a little walk outside. I'm just trying to remind myself to do the little things that make me feel better. But now I was talking to somebody last night and she just put it in such a great way that creative people are struggling more than they ever have right now because we, truly need human interaction and people to feed our creative selves to give us empathy and vulnerability and connection because that's what we thrive on she also made this amazing point of how exhausting it is to be constantly told that we have to be grateful you're so lucky you're so lucky you have a roof over your head you're so lucky that you still have a job you're so lucky that you get to eat every meal. I feel like there is this pressure during these times to be like, I have no room to complain. I'm so lucky. So many people have it so much worse than me. And yes, that's true. But I also think how much pressure and exhausting that is on ourselves to constantly uphold that strength, allowing yourself to take a deep breath and be no, like right now is shitty and it's really, really hard and I'm sick of it and I'm tired and I don't feel like myself. That's okay. Hearing her say that and then allowing myself to hear it and like breathe it in was so helpful during this weird week I'm having, this weird little lull I'm in. I would really appreciate to hear from you and hear your experience, whether it be about your anxiety or depression route and how you've gotten help. I would even just love to hear how you're coping through this weird time, about what you're doing to make yourself feel better and what brings light to your life, whether it's a cup of coffee or a podcast.
podcast or a song, I would love to hear it and maybe make a video about all the ways we're able to help cope during this time. Happy Friday. I'm just going to drink the rest of my chai and watch the snowfall and listen to a podcast. I hope you enjoy your weekend. Thanks for watching. Thank you.